So in this program, we partnered with uh, Livestock SA and Agriculture Kangaroo Island to identify needs of livestock producers and design some programs and implement the programs to support them through the bushfire recovery. Livestock SA is the peak industry body for sheep, cattle and goat producers in South Australia. So our role really is to represent their interests in policy, advocacy, building industry capacity and in these instances responding to natural disasters. The uh, priorities were managing injured stock initially and then another big priority was getting getting fodder to the island. You know, there was bare ground so those stock that did survive um, needed feed needed hay, needed grain. And then the big one from then on was biosecurity. When the Black Summer bushfires came through the region here, we were quite heavily affected by the fires. We lost all the infrastructure on the farm, every piece of plant and equipment, our home and about half of our livestock, which was quite devastating. In those initial days, you know, we were in survival mode and it was really difficult for us to try and manage what livestock we had left and that was our number one priority. When the fire went through on the 3rd of January, it went through three of the four properties. We still lost a lot of pasture, a lot of fencing. Um, collectively, we lost 70 k's of fencing across the three farms, the 4,000 sheep, 60 head of cattle. So it was a fair whack. Really, there was just so much heat from all the, the scrub and the blue gum forests. And yeah, we just didn't have hope. Yeah, we lost everything. Our farm here basically burnt pretty well, I don't know, probably 75, 80% of it. So in the early days, immediately after the fire, we worked very closely with Livestock SA and other industry partners to identify those really short-term relief requirements. One of those things was the KI Freight Project, where we coordinated with Livestock SA access to around 5,000 tonnes of hay and access to about 40,000 fence posts. PERSA were really effective in helping our sector and industry post fires. You know, Livestock SA and PERSA really came forward and were able to assist us by putting measures in place that meant producers could get those things and needs for their properties. We were able to reassess why and how we had things in place and through that process we've been able to implement some changes within our farm business that have set us up in a much better position in the long run. Farm Business Program is an example of, of some of the funding that was used to, to help businesses become stronger on the island. Through Livestock SA we were able to run what we called shed meetings, basically because there was no houses left to meet in. And so we got groups of farmers together, just sitting down and talking, being aware of that whole mental health and giving them a chance to actually stop to think, to plan and talk to other farmers has been really important in helping just build that that resilience. If there's any silver linings from natural disasters, it's an opportunity for people to reassess their business and, and look at doing things in a way they maybe wouldn't have done if they hadn't have had the experience the event. With the funding that we got from the fire recovery, we really wanted to turn a, a negative into a positive. So we really looked to the future to, to not only make our businesses stronger and the, and the island community stronger, but also set ourselves up for a future disaster so we were more prepared and more resilient and more able to cope. I'm hoping by the end of this year that we won't be doing any more fire recovery, we'll just be doing what we normally do, just go back to farming as a plan. The future's positive, pretty happy with how far we've come. All the fire related jobs are pretty much finished and we can just look forward and keep moving forward um, with life as it used to be. Yeah, I don't think about it much, just jog along, yeah. We don't dwell on anything, just look forward. Yeah, it's been three years since the fires uh, now. We are still in recovery. I feel like some people think, oh, it's three years, everything's just back to normal. We're still not at full capacity in terms of our production. We're nearly there. However, we're really positive about where we are and how we've got to the position where we are and the business is thriving. And if I looked back to where we were straight after the fires to now, I wouldn't have thought we would have achieved what we've achieved. So really, it's been a long journey, but we've navigated it well and I'm proud of what we've been able to achieve.